We, uh, like I came up with Ruby, I mean, I, I, I've been working on like the technology for the show for like years, but I came up with the, the, the theme uh, red, white, black, and yellow because of Asian. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're going to avoid no, politics, no, but just red, dive straight into <laughs> racism tonight. Yeah, red, it's going to be good. Red, Join white, us. and black. Shut up. <laughs> red, white, and black. I was thinking to myself, where is he going to go for these yellow? Is he going to point at I, something? I, 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 no, OK. The, the, color, the color scheme works. I like the colors red, white, and black. And you can, gold or yellow can fit in there. <laughs> and then I was able to, like, somewhere between half a dream, fit the, th the three, four yeah. letters into the name who, Ruby. Who on their right mind would mix the colors red, white, black, and yellow or <laughs> oh, gold together? Sure. That would look <laughs> terrible. Oh, my god. It's like you knew. Oh does, that, does, that, does that upset you being on, red, on red team? What you know, there's no red ray, it's just blue ray. Uh, no, I, I've never thought about that. <laughs> we got, we got a <laughs> no, only idiots that work on red versus blue think about that. Thought about that. We have a brown ray. Brown, shut up. <laughs> Back uh, to the racism, so folks. You, you can see that they're, uh, they're nearly identical. Pretty cinematic. It's is awesome. Amazing. I thought it was live action the first time I saw it. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, how you did lose your glasses in France. I did. So. My, yeah, I. I was walking around Versailles, and then uh, I took off my glasses, and I just looked and I go, Aaron, how long have I been walking around with one lens on? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could make glasses. a Versailles joke, but I won't. That reminds me, you just recently learned that there's a shitty pun making competition in Austin, and you got oh, super I did. pumped. The the uh, O Henry pun off. God. Do you know what their website is? What? Pun 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 dot com. <laughs> like fun fun fun. Yep. Yeah, Brandon That's told me the other day hilarious. that um, the pun off would be coming to Austin. I think I believe it's in May every year. It was honestly the best news I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I I got excited in all parts of my body, <laughs> and my mind starts racing. I'm just like, okay. I think you and prepare, I are the only two. Train. I think you and I are the only two people in this uh, company that like puns. Oh. Can you tell everyone your pun you made to Miles? <laughs> So oh on, 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 on Twitter, <laughs> while, while Miles was in, was, in Par was in France, he was talking about uh, staying in a spooky hotel. Yeah. We well, why don't you tell the yeah, part of the story? So, so the first hotel that we stayed in in Paris, I just got back. I was, I've been out of the country for the past week, so it's been, it's been nice coming You back. were visiting your girlfriend. That's what they were doing. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Just that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was visiting my girlfriend Erin in Paris. It was really, really awesome. Um, and uh, because of that, I miss Gauntlet. I'm really excited about it. We'll talk about Gauntlet stuff later, but I want to see what's yeah, going on with Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first hotel that we went to was kind of shady because we didn't have a ton of money to spend. So we were just like, oh, whatever, we'll deal with this. We're pretty sure that got us sick. So then we, mo we moved to another hotel, and it was really cute, really quaint. It had like, I don't know, it was just like this tiny little French thing. It was just nice. It was really old. But then at night, it became like the creakiest structure in all of Paris, France. And that, she immediately passed out, and I was just sitting there on the internet, and I went to Reddit and started going through like the creepy subreddits, like that scary stories, because I'm a so, fucking idiot. Why would she so, do so that? She because like, I'm a fucking idiot. So she was like Redditor's wife. You're there on the computer, and she's like in the doorway. <laughs> Dude, and, like, I'll tell you, you most, of the time, it, most of the time it's the other way around. I'm like, hey, baby, did you see this? She's like, yes, I saw she it. She loves Reddit. Yeah, she lives on Reddit. Anyways. I love it. Um, so yeah, I was sitting there, and then I started thinking about like, oh my god, this place could totally be haunted. It's just the perfect atmosphere. God, I can just imagine like a dead woman coming through the front door. And then, and then I stopped. I was like, wait, what would she say? She'd speak to me in French, right? So then, wait, is it worse that she'd be screaming something I can't understand? Or something like, I'm killing, like, and I, I, I don't know. I didn't know what was scariest, so then I tweeted about it. Because like, oh, maybe Twitter can make me feel better. And then people just started Never sending me really creepy pictures. <laughs> like, hey, fuck you, buddy. But then you <laughs> responded. My, my reply was, parlez-vous français? <laughs> And I, 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 that's I, what I, that was. I, I read your tweet and I started laughing. I was like, "Holy shit!" Like I just came to me. I started. It cheered me up me. because I, I was oh just sitting God. there in bed, just staring at your tweet. Like he is. And that's why you responded to love it? with himself right now. I, know, I was like, I was like, my he's wife, so my, fucking pleased with himself. Esther was looking at me super annoyed because I'm on the couch <laughs> rolling around laughing because I'm so pleased with my joke. And then, and then cue Barbara in like all caps. You were like, I love it. What, what did you say? I, I said something like, that is amazing. I love you. This is amazing. I learned from the master. <laughs> I'm glad you two have each other. Mm -hmm. But, um. But yeah. it made you think of an older story where we were hanging out. It was here like in the a year ago. Room. Yeah, and I don't know. We were talking about something in French. I think we were talking about the French going to the bathroom for some reason. And then Q, our and great <laughs> sense of humor, and you I said, said something uh, like, we, we, more like a, a dude. More like a dude, dude. And then you <laughs> giggled like a schoolgirl and ran into the upstairs bathroom, which is against the rules. <laughs> no two in the two. See, that's Not, funny. <laughs> you guys are the fucking worst. Oh. 
so I missed out on Halloween because Paris doesn't really do. Yeah, I get it, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, when you say it out loud, that's when it makes sense. No. I like French puns, apparently. I don't <laughs> speak French, but I can make terrible puns. I, oh I dressed God. up as a little kid, dressed up as Luigi. So what I did was I went to Target and I bought a Luigi costume made for a 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so I you went a sexy on, Luigi. And it was like super tight oh and I had like the little pail and everything. There's a picture of it somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a picture. It. We'll put it in the link dump. Okay. My um, but yeah, it's a, it w the problem with, um, I'll let you finish the story yeah, in a second. Yeah. The problem with wearing a costume intended for a 10-year-old is that I got very tight around the crotch. Yeah. So it was like a huge, a massive <laughs> <laughs> bulge in the crotch. So <laughs> I had to put I'm two sure. pairs. I had to put two pairs of shorts on Jesus. to try to diminish it. Why don't you just use like a cup or something? Wouldn't I that don't own a cup. Do <laughs> I look like the kind of guy who has a cup? Wait, diminish it? Wouldn't Tell that have enhanced it? Better put on my no, cup. because it creates more bulk everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. I it got him. Fucking hated that game. So um, blister my hand. We're having a good time. It was it was crazy crazy shit went down. I'm out in the backyard talking with a few of my friends. I'm going back inside, and that's when this girl comes out. She says, "Guys, guys, the police are here." And I froze because I had never been to a party that had been busted by the cops before. And in my mind was Just say you've never been to a party. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I, I, I imagine every like teen movie that I had ever seen ever where it's like the fucking guys come in with German shepherds and shit. Like everybody's going to prison. Everybody's getting arrested. And like kids are running and jumping out of windows. Why did they sound like that? Either? I don't know. <laughs> teen movies are terrible. <laughs> so, um, so my first thought was like I stopped dead. I turned around. I was like. Done, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Cause I'm really drunk and I'm like, this is bad. I can't, this, this can't happen. I can't be arrested. And my buddy's like, who's also drunk is like, that sounds like a great idea, Miles. What are we gonna do? So we're looking around for like an exit in this backyard. And we noticed that if we could go up on, uh, it was all surrounded by a really tall like wooden fence. But if we went up on like the porch, we could hop over into the neighbor's backyard. So like, guys, over the fence, let's go. Me and Don were the only people to go. All my other sober friends were like, bye. We jump over, we jump over. Crazy these dog. two, these two other freshmen that had gone to the party, who just like were completely panicked and just didn't know what to do, were like, "These guys seem to know their shit," so they followed us. So it was myself, um, my buddy Don, and then this two guy, uh, one guy who was dressed as like Buzz Lightyear, and then someone who was the who's the cowgirl from Toy Story Two, uh, uh, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, Buzz Lightyear and Jesse follow us. So we jump into the neighbor's backyard. We can see all like the blue and red lights on the other side of the fence, and we're fucking terrified. Like, okay, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get out of here. All right, what's the game plan? I'm like, Don, look over, the, look over the fence, see how many there are. He's like, oh, I got it. He's a really tall dude. <laughs> so he goes over the fence, and he puts his hands up, and he pulls himself just right over the edge. And then <laughs> the whole thing snaps, and the fence falls forward, and all these lights are just on us. I just go, run! <laughs> so we just start sprinting. And fortunately, the, the, the neighbor's backyard was connected to like, all these woods and shit. So we're just sprinting through the woods. So Philip J. Fry, the brawny man, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse the cowgirl are just hauling ass through the dark woods at night. We finally run far enough to where we think we're kind of safe. We're like, guys, 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 all right. Everybody calm down. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fine. I, like, when I get drunk and there's like a <laughs> air quote serious situation, I become true. like alpha male. Like, I got this. You're like in control miles. Yeah, I'm, I become in control miles. Like, I'm in the zone, the really drunken, intoxicated zone. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, everything's going to be fine. Let's silence our cell phones. And like the freshmen were like, that's genius. This guy knows what he's doing. Older kids, yeah. Silence their cell phones. I'm like, all right. How old were you? Like six months older than these kids? Yeah, I was like six months older <laughs> than these guys. The cops are going to hear your cell phone. Shut the fuck up. This was <laughs> a real life kids. situation, okay? Lives were on the line. They're just so like, I was like everybody, the fourth everybody, for rings. Silence, <laughs> silence your cell phones. And everybody silences their cell phones. And we went down into this riverbed that was like dried up down in this ravine. Like we're hiking through like continents and shit, just on this jungle excursion. And I'll never, ever, ever in my life forget. We're walking through, we're still all dead quiet. All you can hear are crickets. And the guy, I'm, I was helping the kid down like into the ravine. The kid. The, the, the guy just <laughs> as Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear. And he like, he goes, hey man, I, I just wanted to say thanks, man. I'm just, I really, I can't, like I have scholarships. I can't get arrested, man. And I shit you not, I go, what's your name, dude? And he goes, Johnny. I go, Johnny, I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand on his shoulder, I patted him on the back. And this kid was probably like, thanks, dude. But in my mind, I was like, it's gonna be okay. And like triumphant horns were playing and shit. And we got all out of there. We made it to some like playground in the middle of butt fuck nowhere and parted ways. We all went home. Uh, me and Don went back to my apartment at the time. We're sitting there drunkenly eating pizza, just mulling over the events of the night. And we're really concerned. We're like, man, I can't believe that we just left our friends behind like that. That was really fucked up of us. 
I feel really bad about this. We should call him. We should really call him. He's like, yeah, dude, yeah. So we start calling our friends. I'm like, hey, hey, man, are you okay? Are you all right? My friend's like, what? Is everything okay? I know the cops come. The co Hold on one second. I'm at the party. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it was just a noise complaint. It's totally fine. And it was like, <laughs> this was like five miles away. We had run out of the party through the woods to some place we didn't know and then walked all the way back to my apartment. You broke felt, someone's fence. I broke someone's because fence. Because the party was I not. never even thought about that. Like, I was like, thinking of the like cool the, the person, that person woke up the next morning, came out and was like, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even the one who called the cops, but there's I, my fucking fence. <laughs> that's the moral of the story. Don't call the police on a really loud party. That they might like not even party. have been the one. Yeah, otherwise your neighbor's going to get, you know, they're going to have broken fences and stuff. So don't call As them. a homeowner, that's the, the first thing I thought was these assholes broke, <laughs> broke your fence. the neighbor's fence who's doing nothing. Yeah, that was, that was the end of a very long and interesting night. But uh, that was, yeah. <laughs> that's only that, like the ice. The that, was the the ice that was the icing on the cake. But um, yeah, everything else I'd have to be way more drunk to talk about. Oh, God. <laughs> have another beer, Did Miles. you make out with Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, God damn it! <laughs> I need a. Yeah, if, if only, if only Don right. was here with his brownie paper towel to help you clean up. Oh my God! The beer burns my nose. <laughs> God damn it! Oh my God. I, I had a different theory whenever, whenever a camera was around me. I felt the need to always do something like really stupid or really just like unnecessary. Are there always cameras around you? When there was for this. Okay, God. Fucking got me. <laughs> Anyways, there's there's a there's several sections where there's no gravity what in the, is the, in the speed first of level. Gravity? <laughs> Thanks, Gav. Barb's Gav. I'm, I'm sitting in a seat. What I if the gravity? Okay. Um, but there's right there's, now a you, there's a part where there's a part where you go out like you, right. you know, you're in space and everything's all floaty and stuff. And it's really cool. Like if you reload, you'll see like your empty canister. Everything's like, all float floaty away. and stuff. Um, her tits are all she comes out. Tits out. Space tits. Her, her tits are in her face. Tits. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but no, every time like, you really I get like, a great bra when you're in zero G's. <laughs> Would I, you? I, I, zero G's for your double D's. <laughs> yeah. I fucking I hate you too. It's um, true, right? Would you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Shit. You Why are you asking me? I don't down. know. I wouldn't see him. Anyway, go ahead. So if a guy has a really like long schlong in space. Wait, what that, did you just say? I think your underwear keeps that. In oh, okay, long schlong. <laughs> well, the cool thing about that, going back to Halo. Don't you pay attention to the midterm campaign is a line that's in the long version of the song. And oh my God. it sounds like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Don't you pay attention to the midterm what, campaign. What's, what's funny is, <laughs> uh, I, it got cut, right? But Jeff Williams called me. We had to do some pickups and re-record some stuff because the auto-tune made it sound terrible. Like, I was so bad, auto-tune no. couldn't fix it. You don't say. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he was like, so, Gus, my concern is, um, you sound kind of like Kermit the Frog right now. <laughs> oh, no, shit! Oh, my <laughs> like, God. We need, to, we, need to, we need to turn the Kermit down a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. It was fucking awesome.